Good morning, everyone. How are you keeping? You are with other than education, the English Council, and it's a beautiful Monday, as I always say. I hope you are geared up to start your week with a lot of energy. We can take collocations practice karada. Mama kira dunna gear sumane. Collocations kihi pe akum. Ataka the collocations kila kiyani common combinations. Hariyat ni kambo maadaring ina kapal le kaka gaye himen atam paul akwa gaye dinne. Kwenne puluang. Oi kani machuna deka kwenne puluang. Machuna kihi pe akwenne puluang. Oi kani lassuna paul akwa gaye. English वाला एकतम इन जोड़ गए ना पाउल गए ना तो मैं अभी गिर सुमान देखा तो नहीं मैं कथा करे because collocations are very important we are paying a lot of attention to grammar I mean we give a lot of focus to grammar and we study only grammar sometimes but it is very important to study collocations because the language comprises of lot of collocations and अरे उगलो कि आने oh it takes time for me to talk because I think in singular and there is it takes it takes time for me to translate it to English, so because of that, there is a delay for me to express my ideas. What do you want to say? Yes, I want to say that I want to say that I want to say collocations. I want to say that I want to say that I want to say adjectives, nouns, collocations, noun, noun, collocations, noun, verbs, collocations, verb, adverbs, collocations. I want to say that 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 I highly recommended that I values that I want to say that I want to say simple collocations. I want to say that I want to तो एक तो एक तो ये वा इन्ना निशा नितरम है साहा नेटिव्स लो वो किया ला किया ला किया ला किया ला गुड़ा क्लाइमेज के अतुले पॉपुलर वेला थे ना निशा मैं भी देने मात्र कती आ गया तब आप इटा रा आप इक्की आने रा हित हित इन्नों ने मुकदा खाटेंग निकांग एक कप भार एक पीटे वेना हरियत निकांग उगलो गुड मॉर्निंग I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Then ni kang hitan, ni kah tetap apa bela awak tak hari ini hitan lah belu. Ada collocation ni kah pagi, tapi mai common combination ni kah kiman do it is a sentence pattern, right? Eating, kuchara lese tapi tu language ni kah kena kena mei deval mei vidya tekatte ana macamat vidya padang kerana hundu tu padang kerana ni kah ni potak kerana padang kerana no ni. Hebei mei wa use kala use kala use kala mei wa tapi puru do nana kuchara lese ni deh. So today I'm going to start a lesson about collocation. And I told you, I actually promised you that I'll be talking about some collocations you can use at home or house. I mean, collocations with home, collocations with house, collocations you can use at home to instruct someone, give orders to someone. How did I get to the point of the collocation? ग्रामर किए ने के कत्तू वे ना थाना का इंदला आरा होम कॉलेक्शंस किए ने कल के द स्क्रीन होम कॉलेक्शंस किए ने काफी पढ़ाएंगा ना ओ ने पढ़ाएंगा तो थों दाय किए ला हम्म ओके सो एस यू ऑलरेडी नो कॉलेक्शंस आर कॉमन कॉम्बिनेशंस राइट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अ ग्रामर पैटर्न ग्रामर नॉट एक्चुअली � Remember this collocation, okay? So it's about verbs and home. Look at the screen. Verbs and home. Onna home kia ne home kia ne. Atta tamen balu od adverb be ka kahari da. Apni itna ne home kia ne thana kila ne. Home kia ne adverb be ka kiting itko ta metta na thi ne verb and adverb collocation ne ka kwa ge thamai. So home me ka te kia ne verbs bona da. Apni balu mo. Look at the screen. Okay, you're already looking at the screen, right? Why are you coming home? Then kaagen hari yahan no na ma rule ke passe tikka king kela denna, right? Why are you coming home? Or when are you coming home, right? Ehim na tan kia na pulong. At what time are you coming home? Are you coming home? Mukha the make a collocation ekka. So you already know that. Look at the screen. You already know that. Why are you? What are you? When are you? At what time are you? Kia na ekka already. You know that it is a it is a question pattern. Itto kote minne make a gatot coming home kia na parte ka gatot make a villa collocation ekka. Why are you coming home? When are you coming home? Me tika me naske me va collocations ne me me a villa question pattern ekka. When are you coming home? At what time are you coming home? Right? 
coming home කියන එක collocation එකක් පොඩ්ඩක් හොඳට හොළුවෙ තියාගෙන ඉ කියන්නේ කාගෙන් හරි කොහොම මොකද මොකද මේක තේරුම why are you coming home ඇහුව ගෙදර එන්නේ why are you coming home when are you coming home කවදද ඔයා ගෙදර එන්නේ when are you coming home at what time are you coming home coming home coming home coming home at what time කීයටද ඔයා ගෙදර එන්නේ coming home coming home coming home so coming home is a collocation මම මේක මේක හොඳට කටට හුරු කරගන්න හරි වෙන මොනවාත් හිතන්න එපා why are you coming home when are you coming home at what time are you coming home coming home coming home මම කිව්වා ගිය සතියේ collocations දැන් මම උගලට කරනකොට මේ අර එකටම තියෙන වචන මම ටිකක් වැඩිපුර ඒකම කියනලා උගලු නැත්තම් බලන්න ඇති මොකද අනේ මේ එකම වචනේ මෙච්චර කියන්නේ collocations එහෙම තමයි කියලා 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 කනට හුරු කර ගන්නවා කටට හුරු කර ගන්නවා ඒ නිසා උගලුගේ කනට හුරු වෙන්නත් එක්ක තමයි මම මේක කියන්නේ ඉතින් උගලුන්ටත් ද ස්ක්‍රීන් එකේ දකින්නකොට මේක කියලා 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 practice කරගන්න පුළුවන් right okay so why are you coming home ඇයි ඔයා ගෙදර එන්නේ hmm that's the first one Second one is then verbs. अभी home में कपाव इच करने verbs गाता हूँ ना second देखा. We are going home after the festival. Here's the second one. We are going home after the festival. So this is like just the rest of the sentence after the festival. We are going home. They are going home. I am going home. She is going home. एक बार ना तो उनका वेनम हम अभी गातो तो वेनम हम ten से का गातो. She goes. home එතන මතක තියාගන්න මොකද collocation එක goes home එහෙම නැත්තම් go home හ්ම් මේ මොකද්ද ගෙදර යන්නේ she goes home at 5 o'clock goes home ගෙදර යන්නේ පහට ඇය ගෙදර යන්නේ පහට she goes home they go home at 8 o'clock දැන් මේක අපි past එකට හැරෙව්වොත් මොකද්ද ආ ඒ විදිහට දැන් උන්න past එකට හැරෙව්වොත් went home They went home at five o'clock. Went home. Gia gedera gia. Coming home. Enne kiye to the. When are you coming home? Gedera. Enne kiye to the. I went home at five p.m. Mama gedera gia. Pahata gia. Went home. Go home. Goes home. Going home. Hari the onna. Go home kiya ne. That's the second collocation. The verb home collocation. Come home. Come home, get there and go home, get there and and then the third one. Look at the screen. We have, I sometimes get home from work around six. So usually we use this uh, get home when we want to mean that arrive, arrive. Kiela kiyan kote, I arrive home from work around six. Right, arrive. Me, I will arrive. Kiya na meaning eka. Right, arrive, arrive, arrive. Get home. I sometimes get home. I arrive home. Arrive home. Same thing. Arrive home. Get home. I get home at six p.m. Or eka past eka na mata haravan no na get home becomes I got home. So yesterday I got home. They got home at 8 p.m. Got home. Got home. Get home. Gets home. Get home. Got home. Arrive home. Right? Hmm. Come home. Go home. Get home. Come home. Go home. Get home. Verb and home collocation. Right? Okay. Next one. Look at the screen. Fourth one. If you leave home, here you have another collocation. Beautiful. If you leave home, palan nuko kui iak tiye na dekhi. If you leave home, so what is leaving home? I left home. It's the past tense. I leave home at 8 a.m. I leave home. Gedaring pitta vena ma. Leave home. Leave home. Come home. Go home. Get home. Leave home. Leave home. Pitta vena ma. Pita venama, leave home. Pita una, pita vela even I kela kya na. What is what is it you use? Right, I left home. That's the past tense. I left home. Leave home, left home. So come home, came home. 
we are going home we were going home and then i get home i got home i leave home i left home leave home left home leave home left home and then look at the screen fourth one if you leave home early we are calling together in pita or not you can catch a less crowded bus you can catch a less crowded bus what is a less crowded bus so that is also a uh, collocation less crowded place less crowded place less crowded kiyanne mokadda asena ga adu less crowded then what am oka kiyanno ne senaka wedi so you say crowded place right crowded bus crowded a uh, shop crowded supermarket crowded place crowded park if you want to uh uh take the opposite of it you say less crowded bus less crowded park less crowded shop less crowded supermarket less crowded it's also a collocation it is a collocation less crowded and crowded place right so we were talking about four collocations verb home collocations first one come home please come home ane karuna kala gedarenna please come home why are you coming home ay you are gedarenne and then we had are you going home oya gedare yanawada are you going home yes i am going home i went home i went home ehema nattang i got home ehema nattang udeta wedata yaddi api kiyanawa i left home around 8 am i left home මේක තියෙන ග්‍රැබ පාට් එක මම කියලා දෙන්න මොකද්ද කියලා බ්‍රේක් එකෙන් පස්සේ Welcome after the break and you are with other than an education the English council we are talking about collocations or you can call it call them common combinations in english without studying studying only grammar it is very easy for you to study a language using collocations right you can learn learn a lot of vocabulary when you study under the uh, topic of collocations so collocations are everywhere collocations can in itara mugulunta ahanna dakinna labena common combinations english wala thiyena ekena ekata inna wachana jodu wenna puluwang faul wenna puluwang so we are talking about these collocations and under collocations we are in the context of home so we had the verb and home collocations look at the screen so we started with coming home so come home is a collocation go home is a collocation get home arrive home is a collocation and then we had leave home leave home hari hmm onna den prashnayak ahannai yanne mama hmm ogollo home ta kalin to home kiyala kiyanawada e kiyanne menna me wage balanna screen eka diha i am going to home she is coming to home ोम do you use it hituwada hari ehema use karnawa na mataka tiya ganna eka waradi so don't use to with the, in these collocations right so home is a very special place right home is anywhere a special place right i think home is the best place that you, anyone can be in right but na mage jeevithaye tiyana koi tarang a munna තැන හිටියත් මොන විදියට මම හිටියත් මගේ gedara කියන තැන තමයි මගේ ජීවිතේ මම ආසම කරන තැන මගේ gedara ඒ නිසා හෝම් කියන එක හැමතිස්සෙම මතක තියාගන්න ඉංග්‍රීසි වල හරිම ස්පෙෂල් තැනක් ගන්න ස්ථානයක් තමයි gedara කියලා කියන්නේ හෝම් කියලා කියන්නේ 
ඊට අමතරව අපි හිතන්නේ හෝම් කියන්නේ තැනක් කියලානේ හෝම් කියන්නේ තැනක් නෙමෙයි හෝම් කියන්නේ ඇත්තටම අඩ්වර්බ් එකක් ඒ කියන්නේ ක්‍රියා විශේෂණයක් වගේ අපේ ස්ටේට් එකක් නිකන් ඩිස්ක්‍රයිබ් කරනවා මගේ හොඳට මතක තියාගෙන හෝම් වලට කලින් අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ප්‍රපොසිෂන්ස් පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ නැහැ ටූ කියන ප්‍රපොසිෂන් එක අපි පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ නැහැ ඉතින් මේ විදිහට අපි දැන් පුරුදු වෙලා ඉන්නවනේ අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් කියනවා ආයි ඇම් ගෝයිං ටු ස්කූල් Right, look at the screen. I'm going to school. Api make a key in one, I'm going to school. And so I'm going to place the key in a quarter, then I'm going to place the key in the school key in the parcel key in the place the key. අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අපේ ඩිරෙක්ෂන් එක වෙනස් කරනකොට ඒ කියන්නේ මම මෙතන ඉඳන් වෙන තැනකට යනවායි කියන මීනින් එක දෙනකොට මම සාමාන්‍යයෙන් going ඒ කියන්නේ මගේ movement verb එකක් එක්ක එනකොට මම සාමාන්‍යයෙන් to කියන preposition එක පාවිච්චි කරනවා. කරනවානේ I'm going to school. I'm going to the supermarket. I'm going to that place. I'm going to the park. Api going ekka to paavichcha karanawa. I went to school. I went to uh, the supermarket. Api paavichcha karanawa too. Habai metana ehema paavichcha karata ape movement ekata man metana indan athanta giya kiyala kiyana thamai going to kiyala api daanne. Home ekoy to ekka paavichcha karanna na. Home is very special. Always remember that, right? So it should be going home, coming home, getting home, leaving home, arriving home, right? So no to this you should remember. Don't say. Look at the screen. I'm going to home. No, no. Please, no, no to. Right this is a common grammar mistake we make no to it's i'm going home mama gedara yana i'm going home are you coming home are you coming to home no are you coming home are you coming home oya gedara yana wada oya gedara yana wada are you coming home not coming to home i'm getting to home no i'm getting home getting home no not get to home remember it okay right once again before i end this come home get home go home leave home came home went home left home got home right hmm that's it onna verbs and home collocations tama tikak man pennanna oy home kiyen ekak ek api hituwata home eka hari special nisa me collocations ekak api waladdat gannawa ehinna poddak meema balagena ida tiyen eka honda right here are some some other verb home collocations that you can use with the word home look at the screen you can bring or take somebody or something home api nikan hitamu bring somebody home man menna mulinma man meka ganna bring somebody home right bring somebody home e kiyanne kawa hari gedara geniyanawa puluwan yogana ta kawa yaluwon o gedara geniyana puluwan ආ ඔයාගේ නැදහ යන ගෙදර ගෙන යන්න පුළුවන් බලු පැටියක් ගෙදර ගෙන යන්න පුළුවන් right okay and then uh, take කියලා කියන්නේ ගෙන යනවා වගේම තමයි you can say take something home or take somebody home කියලා කියන්නත් පුළුවන් right okay look at the screen if you don't eat all your food at restaurants you can take the leftovers home now you are going to take something home so this is the collocation take something home ke ena ka thamai collocation anith ek okkoma anith sentence ek avile ek like just a sentence that's it if you don't eat all your food at restaurants you can take you can take the leftovers home you can take the leftovers so take the leftovers take something home you can take these books home ඔයාලා මේ පොට් එක gedara gen yanna puluwa you can take these books home you can take your girlfriend home ඒක දන්නේ ඒක අම්මලා ගෙන අහන්න හොදේ right you can take your girlfriend home what වගේ girlfriend ගෙන යන්න පුළුවන් gedara take somebody take your girlfriend home take somebody home take something home leftovers mummy ta kalin kela dunna wachane mokada kela this is a collocation take leftovers home right this is a collocation which comes under restaurant language take the leftovers home ithuru kaya matakada man kiyena ape ama restaurants wata giyama ballata ani ape ballek gedara inna ithuru kaya me tika utala denna ballata denna bo roopa hu wendata amma ma thamai kanne hemata thathara denawa right so leftovers it's like ithuru wena kaya restaurants wala hari gedara unat leftovers denna bala so after dinner you can say um uh put the leftovers in the fridge now put it in the fridge that is a collocation you can use at home i'll be talking about it put it in the fridge 
put the leftovers in the fridge. Leftovers. Itturu kam. Itturu kam. Right? Okay. Next one. I will bring my kids home after classes. I will bring my kids home. Mama, take kira ki wa. Doku ena sak na. Na mud bring kira ki ani. Mama gain na. Mama bolam baba lava. Class ke em passi gedar a gain na. I bring my kids home. I bring my kids home. Mage baba lava gedar a gain na. Bring my kids home. I bring my kids home after classes. Bring something. Bring someone home. Bring something home. Take someone home. Take something home. Take someone home. Take something home. Bring someone home. Bring something home. Very simple. Don't say I'm bringing my kids to home. No to. Remember, no to. I'm bringing my kids home. That's it. Bring something home. Bring someone home. Take something home. Take someone home. Right? So write it, write them down so that you will remember because when you are like learning uh, collocations, you should have a particular way of recording the collocation. So I'm giving a glimpse of what you can use at home and um, with home in collocation. So write the topic home and write them down, like organize in such a way that you have everything under home in those pages right so after this lesson you can study about collocations about home and then add to what you have written from these lessons right okay next one and you have adjectives and home look at the screen adjectives and house sorry adjectives and house okay I wonder why it is like okay it's okay now it's about house so house can you can Nivasak, uh, right? Home ki ani gedara. You know the difference. I was talking about it when we were talking about home collocations. Uh, not home collocations. Conversations you can have at home ki ala mam padama kara. Eki di mam kata kara. So house ki ala ki ani ni kang nivasak ni kang buildi ne kawa ge tamai. Home ki ala ki ani rapita hita ta dani ne home gedara ape gedara, right? Okay. So adjectives and house ki ani nama visheshan apita house ka describe kara na puluang. Vidhi Monad, look at the screen. You have single, single story house, two story house, three story house, four story house. Look at the story. Notice the spellings. It's not story, S T O R Y. It is S T O R E Y. What is single story, two story, three story, four story, five story? Mukad, Katawad. Ah, E gedara Katawa. Ne, ne, ne. Ehemanemi, E kiane tattu garning api gedara gana describe karano. Tani tattu e gedara, tattu de ke gedara, tattu tune gedara, tattu hatare gedara, tattu pahe gedara. So that is story. Ah, it's not S T O R Y story, Kata story name. It is S T O R E Y. S T O R E Y. So single story house. Two story house. She owns a three story house. Wow. And she has four children. <gasps> so, one person has to move out, right? Yeah, I think so. Single story, two story, three story house, four story house. That two will again angling. Apitagayak describe Grandpura. I'll see you tomorrow.